So we are given dipoles which are at a distance r from a long thread and we need to find the force f acting on the dipoles if they are oriented parallel to the thread, perpendicular to the thread and in, but in radial direction and perpendicular to the thread as well as perpendicular to radial direction. So these two diagrams are as you see them and this is a 3D diagram. So the wire is going inside the plane. So it is oriented like this, the dipole. So first case, both the charges are at the same distance. So the forces on them will be equal and opposite in sign. So net force is zero. Second case, one charge is nearer. So their force will be more. So we can find that by the force by P D E by D R. And E is 2K lambda by R. So this gives the force as minus 2k p lambda by r square. You can also do it by writing the force for r plus d by 2 and r minus d by 2. And you will get the same result if you try it in that way. Here the force on positive in away from the wire and negative is towards the wire. So the horizontal components will cancel out and we will have the vertical component left which is f cos theta plus f cos theta. So net force is 2f cos theta. f is q into e, so q into 2k lambda by r, r is this distance and this distance is r square plus d square. Root of that. So if, so we are taking the whole length as 2d so if this is d this is r this is root of r square plus d square times cos theta so cos theta is again d divided by root of r square plus d square so you simplify you get this and here because r is much greater than d this can be written as r square and our answer will be 4k lambda p by r square